everyone, Cesare here with more Dragon Quest VI. Uh, over the weekend, I went and got my characters to the uh, level of uh, this zone. Unfortunately, that required me to master some abilities. So as you can see, Cesare is now a mage. I think uh, Cesare is a very close to mastering mage. Yeah, he's a level 7 mage. Maribel is a pirate, and Ruff, or not a pirate, a sailor, and Ruff is a level 7 warrior. So we're going to have to go and master, uh, get these jobs changed eventually, I think. But, uh, hello! So, here we go. There are no new monsters here. Let's head down to this town, I guess. Wetlock is that way, but I guess this town's closer, so let's go here first. We'll dodge around it first, in case there's, uh, some treasure chests set in about here. I don't see any. Let's scare off. Alright, Spilton on Sea. Hey, come here, come here, boy! Sure, we'll save here, we just started, but whatever. follow in my father's footsteps. I really do, but I wonder if I'm too dainty to be a fisherman. If the truth be told, my dream is to go to Wetlock and become a bard. The question is, do I have the conviction to make that dream a reality? La 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 la. Da, 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 da. Dum -de -dum. Ah, even my memory of that beautiful melody is a joy to listen to. I wonder if the old magician is still at the inn. I really would like to hear him play another song if I could. The magician who visited us yesterday played an instrument unlike any I've ever seen before. It was a curious looking thing, but I've made the most beautiful sound, though I suspect that was mostly down to the old chap's talent. Hmm? Where's the fellow, old fellow you know, now you say? You know, I'm not quite sure, but he stayed at the local inn last night. He may as well still be there. Something's not quite right about the sea of late. This probably sounds strange, but it's as though it's frightening, uh, frightened of something. I've never seen the ocean quite so agitated. I do hope it's just my imagination and not a sign of impending Dave's disaster. Tuesday? Well, how do you do? Welcome to Spiltman Sea. Alright, let's check out the weapon and armor shop first. Four out of the way. Kind of two villages of weapons and armor they've got on sale are pretty impressive. Take this battle axe I bought, for example. It's well made and it wasn't very even very expensive. Oh man, these guys live in the same house together. I need to go right to the other side of the counter if you'd like to be served. There's just not enough room to do business back here. What's that? Impressed that a little village like this has its own weapon shop, are we? Well, the sad truth is that we need all those weapons. The sea's been teeming with horrible monsters lately. There isn't a fisherman in the village who goes out unarmed these days. Let's see, Maribel could use a morning star. Sizable scissors. Battle axe. I'm sure the cottery sword is better than what I'm using. Oh, it's not! Oh. Hmm. Well, I may have to get a battle axe for Sassare. I don't know, let's see what we got for sale in the armor shop. Chair mantle, pillager's plate mail, silk bezier. Platinum shield, magic shield, pirate's hat, villager's helmet. I actually should get that for rough at the very least. Alright. There we go. Yeah, 
sell my pirate's hat. There we go. Let's get ourselves a pillager's helmet for Sassari. Quite enough to get Maribel her money started. Do we have anything else to sell? I'm never gonna use the silk bazier, and now I know where I can buy them, so I'm just gonna sell it. There, she's got a money start now. I'll keep the staff of any magic, it's pretty handy to keep on the hand. Alright. La dee dee, fa la la. Ah, even the Dallas of Hasselt Shores is a pleasure with the help of a little song. And what a song! I simply can't get the old man's tune out of my head. What I don't understand is why that old musician feels the need to travel around the, from town to town. It must be ever so tiring for the old poor old fellow. With the sort of talent he's got, surely some king or other would be happy to take him on as a full-time court entertainer. He doesn't want to be a dancing monkey. Ooing and aang. Oh, this is a, uh... Aha! You want a decent old fish? You gotta leave before it gets light. And come on, after dark. That's why we got a lighthouse. See? So we can sail in and out of the harbor at all hours of the day. That's what that was. Not a house at all, but a lighthouse. Alright. Let's check out this house over here. It's basically where they sail, uh, store their boats. Oh, see the light, cool. Yeah, I'm on 35 HP now. Late last night, I saw that old magician fellow standing on the beach, staring out to sea. I got the awful feeling that something was terribly wrong, but I couldn't for the life of me put my finger on it. Alright, so both these villages have run into this magician so far. And one of them has said something that is odd about this magician, the other ones praised him before they went missing. Recently, the monsters have been meeting out at sea have become much more dangerous, and as if that wasn't bad enough, the fish have all disappeared too. We won't have a fishing trade left before long if this carries on. What will become of us then? There don't seem to be any particularly interesting books. And a leather hat, look at that. It's important to keep the nets in good condition, even if the men aren't able to go out fishing. The fishermen may get all the glory, but they'd be nothing without us fishwives to look after them. Alright, let's see here. 
Our inn prides itself on serving customers nothing but freshly caught fish to its uh, customers. Unfortunately, the local fishermen just haven't been able to catch anything lately. We may have to consider changing the menu, you know. That old fellow who came by yesterday wandered all over singing his songs. It was as though he wanted to make sure every single person in the village heard him. wonder why. Not that I'm complaining, of course. Heavens no. That music he played was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Very good day to you. Please take a seat and relax. It's been not impossible to catch every fish of light. There's barely any point in ta even taking the boats out. In fact, some of the men have stopped bothering. They just spend all their time in the pub instead. It's unheard of for fish to stock to drop this dramatically. I wonder if there's something going on out there under the waves. La la la, da da da. Hey, what you looking at? You saying me singing rubbish or something? You've got a bleeding cheek. What makes you think you're the expert singing anyway? Clear off and leave me to it, will ya? Hey, Minnie Mel. I'll take it. Welcome, can I help you at all? What's that? You'd like to know if there's an elderly magician staying, musician staying here with us? Well, he did spend the night last night, but I'm afraid he left early this morning. He's heading northeast, apparently the t towards the town of Wetlock. Listen, now that you know where he's gone, there's no need for you to rush and try and catch up with him, is there? If I were you, I'd spend the night here in the village before moving on. Sure, we'll stay the night. Then wake up to everyone being gone. Some interesting music. It reminds me a lot of the Romer's Village. Wake up, Sensei. Wake up. It's morning already. Wake up, wake up. Something's weird's going on. The village is really quiet. Like, really quiet. I mean, like, too quiet, you know? Let's go and take a look. Alright, so once again, there's no music in the area. All the people are gone. I was just kidding. You didn't have to take them. I'm starting to think that maybe all these people literally just vanished. Uh, I don't want to disappear, Cesare. Will you promise to hold me and never let go? Get off, you idiot. I was only joking. You don't think I was being serious, did you? Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure this must be the Welcome Monsters. But if that's the case, why did they only take the other villages and leave us behind? It's as silent as a grave here. Well, apart from the sound of the crashing waves. Well, this dude was looking like... What the? Everyone's disappeared from this village too? Do they know something we don't? I bet the monsters are all behind all this. You don't think some horrible big mouth baddie swooped down from the sky and gobbled all the villagers up, do you? I don't care how hungry you are, that's just not okay. Okay. So, repeating lines again. Alright, so, I don't see anything by here. I'll check the, uh... Lighthouse, maybe? Oh, even any, they're gone. Let's click on this just in case. Oops, wrong button. Oh, okay. Not up there. Well, let's explore the rest of the village. All the doors are open. Now, would that, that be the same if I hadn't gone around every door, uh, every place? I'm kind of all the stuff I wanted first. Watch Wetlock have a bunch more stuff to buy, though. People are all gone. What about the people in this building? Yep, all gone. Okay. Well, at least we got some information on where this traveling musician went. 
That's at the wet lock. Yeah, I don't see him. I don't see anyone here. Alright, well. We tried to search around. There's nothing here. The save point's gone too. So, let's just head out of the village and, uh. And, uh, we will see where, uh. What's going on in Wetlock? Oh man, that one just dashed. Yeah, got some bolt rats. Scarewells. I like fighting the Scarewells actually, they give a lot of EXP. Comparatively. Like fighting other things, I got like 300 EXP. Or 100. Maybe 50 EXP for some of them. And then I fight a Scarewell and get over 100 EXP. It's pretty awesome. Or 400 EXP, I mean. Sorry. Getting lost in my train of thought here in the middle of what I'm saying. Anyway. So yeah, most fights I get between 50 and 100 EXP, and then the Scarewell fights I get over 400 EXP. It's pretty awesome. So I'm just looking for treasure chests right now. Let's explore the village and see what's going on here. Oh, there's a fragment here. A very warm welcome to Wetlock. Welcome to the item shop. How can I help you? A pink pearl. Just... This way leads to the church. Nothing over there. Oh, how wonderful! How utterly wonderful! I've never heard such a beautiful melody! Bravo! Hats off to Old Man Riffer! It seems that all the people of the town have now heard my song. Very well, then it is time for me to leave. What? You're leaving already? Surely there's no need for you to just go just yet. Why don't you not spend a little more time here in Wetlock? Yes, stay! Stay! Encore! I appreciate your kindness, but I must hurry on. Hey, are you heading back to the inn already? That I am. It looks like things are winding down over here. It really was an incredible performance, so I was quite moved. In fact, I'm in such a good mood after listening to that music. I have half a mind to let all my guests stay the night for free. Let's not dwell any longer, friend. Please excuse me, I must hurry on. Gosh, it really, it's really not like me to be moved by art and whatnot, but well, that was something else. I do believe we've been in the presence of a genius. My word, what a performance. It was as though each note was pop my very hard strings. Goodness me, is this, am I, is this love? Oh my, what do I do now? I don't even know his name. Th that was, that was wonderful. I've never heard music like it. I swear to God I have. I, th I swear that's the same song I heard in the Mower's voice. I've never seen that instrument the old man was playing before. I wonder what it's called. It looked like it might be some sort of traditional thing, you know? The kind of instrument that those tribal types play. What a melancholy melody. It's made my heart go all aflutter. <laughs> wow, that was amazing! Do you know what that instrument he was playing was called? It made a beautiful sound. You know what, that old man could be the, uh... The roamer who fucked with us in, uh... Uh, fucked with the ritual in uh, the Romer's village.
Old Man Riffer was really, really, really good. I can hardly believe it. I must say, I didn't expect the old chap to be able to play like that. Alright, I think that's everybody on the outside of the thing here, so let's go inside buildings now and talk to people. Nothing in the well. I'm from Hardlypool originally, but I moved here when I got married. I often wonder how my old friends back home are doing. Oh, I forgot, you aren't from these parts. You never even, you've never heard of Hardlypool, am I right? What? You were in Hardlypool only a couple days ago and all the villagers suddenly disappeared? That doesn't sound good at all. I mean, there aren't many people here at the best of times, but I've never heard of the place being totally deserted. Are you sure it wasn't some sort of dream? I heard that once, upon a time, a dreadful monster used to terrorize the waters near this town. Rumor has it that the creature dragged an entire island to, to the depths of the ocean. Can you imagine? Just the thought of that such a monster existed is just enough to give me goosebumps. Nothing special here. There's a book entitled The Moon Underwater. Cesar takes it from the shelf and reads an excerpt. The moon loved nothing more than gazing at its own reflection. One night, the beauty of its pale light reflected on the ocean nearly took its breath away. Truly, I have never seen anything more delightful, it exclaimed to itself. And this beautiful sight can only grow more beautiful the closer I get. Saying this, it began to move nearer to the ocean's surface. Down and down, closer and closer. And then, plop! Suddenly it was beneath the waves. Before long, it had sunk all the way to the very bottom of the sea. And there it remained, unable to return to its home above. The Almighty had no choice but to hurriedly fashion a new moon and, pl and place it high in this night sky. To this very day, the old moon sits on the seabed, giving off a melancholy glow, with only the mermaids for company. Interesting. That's the second time we've heard the word melancholy used to describe something. This guy's in the bath. Let's go talk to him. I just heard that this is really beautiful sound tune coming from out of nowhere somewhere. I wonder who was playing it. Alright, so these people don't say anything different despite the change in location. Hey, good 30 gold coins. Excellent. It's the kind of new stuff they got for sale for me here. Sword, morning star, size of the scissors, fire claws. I knew they'd have new stuff for me. Dragon tail whip is actually better too. Huh. And it's for Sasser. Damn it! Oh. We'll have to save up for this stuff later for them later. It's not too bad, though. My gear's pretty decent. At least I think it is. Maybe someone else will have a different opinion of it. Come now, I can't have you over on this side of the counter. I hear that the weapon merchant in Spilton is making a killing on account of all the vicious sea monsters that have been appearing in the area. What luck, of course, remains as peaceful as and undaunting as ever. It's not an easy place to be a weapon seller, you know? Iron Lance, alright. Cool. Just something else to sell, I suppose. Let's head into the tavern on the uh, river. Tavern o o ye old river tavern. That song was so beautiful. I wonder if we'll ever have the op opportunity to hear it again. Beautiful music is the only thing that can make a cold beer cold drink taste better. Oh, there's nothing like a nice trip to the pub when you're feeling blue. Ah, you're travelers, aren't you? Go on then, tell me a tale of your adventures. My customers love that stuff. I'm not here for your amusement, buddy. 
Encore. Now there's a fella who can really play. He should come do a gig down for us down at the pub. That musician is really something. Really. Ah, what a hauntingly beautiful melody. Craggy, look at me. I can't go drifting off like that in the middle of Kirk and I'll burn something. It'd be interesting to have a house built over the river like that. Also kind of scary. It had to be built well. Hey, you see the strength. Cool. Oops, did not mean to use it on its ass. Oh well. It's got 100 strength though. The strongest mage ever. Not ever, but yeah. We need to get a slime heart so we can get Goop set. Once upon a time, there was a little island not so far from here that was home to an incredibly advanced city-state. Alas, a terrible sea monster by the name of Grakos attacked the city, dragging it in, in the entire island it stood on down to the depths of the ocean. The people who inhabit hardly pools spilt in wetlock today are the descendants of the fortunate few who survived that awful incident. Indeed, the very reason that the town was built here was the mon in the mountains to prevent further attacks from Grakos. And it would appear that the ploy has been successful. There's been no record of Grakos having appeared since then. The stories of his reign and terror are a little more than ancient history now. Hey, Grakos, that's the name of the uh, fish demon from uh, Dragon Quest VI. That was a magnificent performance. There's no two ways about it. There's something special about that old man. My only complaint would be that he only played that one song. If I had that much talent, I doubt I'd ever stop playing. someone of my generation plays this beautiful music while it gives hope to us all. Well, the only building we haven't checked yet is the inn. And the church. Let's go check the church first. Traveling musician everyone is so excited about came to the church to give a performance a short while ago. He's clearly a man of great faith. In that regard, he serves as an inspiration to men and women of the cloth. Let's go up to the end now. I'm gonna trip around the world to hone my skills by taking on the strongest monsters I can find. This place is far too peaceful. I should think about leaving and heading for my next destination. Oh, you're a tourist, aren't you? Well, then you really are in luck. See, I'm in such a fine mood today. I've decided to let all the guests stay in the inn for free, um, for half price. That's right. It's only gonna cost three of the tw of the tw you twenty-four gold coins to stay the night. An offer that's too good to turn down, if you ask me. All right, whatever. Shortly before dawn, the party are awoken by a haunting melody. And 
everybody's gone again. Ah, oh, they're being drawn into the portal, sleepwalking. People of the town have been removed. Now to leave. You read the sack of shit. Alright, let's go deal with this problem, I suppose. Alright, High Andre Tower, level 1. Alright, first let's uh, stop our recording here.